Hey, so we were denied um, boarding. Myself, my, my 16 month old son, my mother, um, they took our luggage on the plane, which has my thyroid medication, which I'll be very sick without, my mother's medication. Um, they basically said tough luck. Um, and they won't tell me exactly what I said, um, but what happened, and I will tell you what happened right now, I was speaking to one of the flight attendants and got their pronouns wrong. The other flight attendant didn't like it. I said, I'm really sorry, they, I, I'm not very versed with pronouns. Um, I was holding my son, he was having a temper tantrum. I had the car seat on my back. I wasn't really focusing on anything except getting my son's car seat on the flight and getting him comfortable and safe and him, um, cause now it's his nap time. You can see he's kind of fallen asleep. Um, they're saying that like, it's a hate crime that I did, that I might not even be able to ever fly United. We don't even know how we're gonna get back today. Um, I, I don't know what to do. Um, I, I really, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what my rights are here. I don't know. I, I guess I'm not woke. Okay, fine. You win with your gay stuff. That's what you want, right? To win. <laughs> Kink belongs at Pride. Children belong at Pride. I want to clarify this for a second here. I'm not saying that kink isn't kid friendly. I'm saying that kids and kink can coexist at Pride in a totally fine way. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Do you think it's gone too far? Do you think the LGBTQ community or the movement has gone too far? But in this country, uh, yes. Just think it's gone too far. There's too many letters in the alphabet. To say that the movement has gone too far is maybe just a little harsh with words. What perhaps we need to do is refine the ways in which we celebrate and how we advertise it. So very much a part of being in the queer community as like, I mean to offend you. <laughs> like, I, really? yeah, I think so. I think sex in general is being pushed on people and that includes young people. Then um, it sort of does leave everyone, including children, susceptible to pressures. And that can be from, yeah, that can be from anyone, so sure. Do you think it's being pushed on the younger generation in media and education and various things like that? I'm gonna catch hell for this. I worry about putting prepubescent kids on hormone blockers. I worry that trans is a trend like cutting was in the 90s. I'm afraid I'm gonna get in trouble for that, but sorry. Would you say you're pro-Palestine or pro-Israel? Pro-Palestine. As a gay man, I would be punished and or put in prison or killed if I were openly gay in Palestine. How do you react to that? I didn't know that. Educate yourself, you fool. It is illegal to be gay in Palestine. You are punished by is prison or death. Israel? No, Israel has gay pride. Israel is completely open to lesbian and gay people. So Palestine true. puts them in prison or kills them. You, were, you weren't aware of that? I was not aware of that, no. So that does pose an interesting aspect. Have you seen uh, the Queers for Palestine movement? It's a very it's a very common movement, but I don't see any Muslims for queer movement. Uh, yes. That's where it gets gray, right? Like, that's where I well, feel Well, like... for me, it's not gray. I am fearful of Islam because there is no Islamic country on earth that embraces me as a gay man. So, okay, okay. So maybe I'm confused because Israel, which is an, still an Islam country, you, you idiot. You're honestly an idiot. I don't, know what was, I don't know what's wrong with you. No, no, no. Jewish. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So Israel's Jewish, Palestinians are Islamic. Okay. Congratulations. You played yourself. I'm trying to be dramatic, but I'm literally shaking. Three days a week, I go to the same gym, and I change in the locker room, and it's always the same fucking thing. Well, today, as I was changing, and I was topless, I look over, and a man that works at the fucking gym 
is coming out of the women's restroom. And he looked at me and we made eye contact and I did not, I am not trying to be dramatic, but I did not have a shirt on, I did not have a bra on, and I just feel really violated that he saw me. I go to this gym all the time. I change in the women's locker room, which means I am accepting a risk that other women might see me and I am okay with that. But I just feel like really yucky that a man saw part of my naked body that I did not want to see my naked body. And I totally embarrassed myself because I couldn't, it was hard for me to like come down and again, I'm really not trying to be dramatic, but it was hard for me to come down from it. And I just went to the front desk and I was like, that's fucking unacceptable. And I basically went off and cussed this dude out. And then the chick at the front desk, she's like, ma'am, like he was talking to you calmly. I'm like, this is a big fucking deal. And also at this gym, they have a free membership for teenagers all summer. I'm like, what if that had been an underage girl who was just, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm just triggered, but it just really upset me. And it upset me that like they were so nonchalant about it as if it's not a big deal. I think it is a big deal. Houston, there's a problem. I'm calling on behalf of, of a Wisconsin LGBTQ plus youth um, service. And we yeah. are we plan on coming to the dry clean story time. And Yay, that's awesome. Yeah, so um, we work with um, trans queer youth and um we just would like to say thank you for hosting this drag queen story time and um that we look forward to you know showing up with a van full of children and oh, thank you <laughs> that's suspicious that's weird hi i'm eliana a recovering cis person <laughs> and i'm here to tell you all about trans Trans is a brand new medicine by the creators of Queer. If you're feeling sick with the sisses, then just take trans. It'll it, it'll scare the sisses right away. People will say, wow, I don't know what gender that person is, but I'm weirdly attracted to them and I don't know what that makes me. They'll also be saying, wow, I really don't know how to feel about my own gender identity after seeing them being so confident. What does that mean? So try trans today. Bye.